Okay, we're back with our new band. Well, not new, but now we're bringing in line. It's dawn by the time the Coast Guard Cutter finally takes the smugglers on board as prisoners. We'll hand off these two individuals, hopefully it's going to turn into a prosecution with the assistant U.S. attorney in Puerto Rico. But these poor Dominican fishermen are just expendable pawns, paid up to $40,000 each to risk their freedom. not the only contraband fueling Puerto Rico's drug wars. A wave of lethal weapons, from machine guns to cop killers, is flooding the islands from the U.S. Organized crime families have a code and of recording silence. For the first time ever, five families in New York City. This is a small sample of what's been seized in the Puerto Rican mail in the first half of 2012 alone. You see our results because we're out there constantly watching. While cocaine is shipped from the island to the U.S., guns are trafficked back to Puerto Rico for use in the local drug trade. We also have an FNH weapon, which is known in the street as the cop killer gun, an armor piercing weapon. But the harder the agents work to find the contraband, the more ingenious the methods of concealment. Car parts, mufflers, we've seen cans, we've seen uh, groceries, we've seen cereal boxes, candles. Every seizure leads to an investigation, but thousands of packages make it through, and only a few are stopped. Just the cost of doing business for them. With so many narcotics passing through Puerto Rico, the island is awash with drugs. Bad. Not good. Conditions on the street are so bad that many addicts are happy to be sent to prison wow. just so they can receive treatment. Estrella was shooting up 14 Get two chairs, of heroin do your dips and seven chairs. rats of cocaine just every summer right day. And just do your dips, just like that. Do your dips. It's like a push-up. You can definitely do some form of a modified dip. One chair here, one chair there. Just work it. Just like that. Lift it. That's going to be your dip. Prison and chairs have some of the best facilities on Puerto Rico for dealing with drug withdrawal. Fight science for seniors. This is because Puerto Rican inmates have formed a prisoner's rights group called Yeta. And they make sure that the medical facilities for the prisoners are good. Y que se entienda que nosotros no somos una organización de violencia. Despite the respect of facade, weak. Meta also controls Puerto Rico's drug trade from the inside prison. Dip count back up. Okay. The financial side of the organization mostly relies on drug dealing. Bebo ranks within the highest echelons of Mieta. He did 20 years for armed robbery and now works for the organization on the outside. I would say it's related to most of the criminal activity going on in the island. 
as the Antown members leave prison and rejoin society. Its influence spans across the entire island and beyond. Let's say a big shot, this big drug dealer, he's inside jail right now, and he still has these people working out on the street for him, bringing drugs from Dominican Republic, Colombia, he's Nieta, he works with the organization. This makes Nieta one of the best funded and most powerful clandestine organizations in the world. With contacts everywhere. Everybody wants to make money. So I guess corruption levels in the island are very high. I mean, it comes from the top to the bottom. The money in trafficking is huge. And a cut of the profits on, is too tempting for most to resist. If you take a kilo in the Dominican Republic, it could be worth anything from $4,000 to $5,000. Once he gets here, it could be anything from fifteen to eighteen, twenty thousand, 20000 depending on the season. And it's not just cocaine coming from South America. For every 100 kilos of cocaine, there might be two, three, or even five that are heroin. Heroin is a lot more expensive, but it's worth it, believe me. Mm. You'll get your money back. Heroin is a big, big business here in the island. Mm. All right, so we're going to do it at the same time. Well, the maximum is only on the island. The majority of the cocaine is smuggled into the U.S., <laughs> often using corrupt airport employees. The guy is working for you inside the airport. He wants to get at least $1,000 for each one. So let's say you carry a bag with 40 keys. He's going to ask you for $40,000 just to make it easier for you to put that bag on the plane. <laughs> But the relative costs and bribes are minimal. Once he gets to the states, he's over twenty thousand dollars. Some states even twenty nine thousand, thirty thousand, thirty three thousand. There's people that I know that they're millionaires by now. As Puerto Rico's drug trade expands, Nieta is starting to lose control. The younger generation took over the power. Things have changed. Mm. Everybody seems to make money, and they just don't care. Mm. And the one strict moral code that yet to enforced has eroded, replaced by an ultraviolet free-for-all. I consider myself very lucky up to this day that I have survived. The only way out, I think, for most people is because they get killed. Even yet as president admits that the drug trade is tearing the island apart. My propio. And he's attempting to reach out to the child drug dealers of tomorrow. Mm. But it's too late. The monsters that yet have created are already beyond taming. Puerto Rico's yelling economy has come to rely on its black market drug trade. And cocaine abuse is so rife, it's become part of the local culture. <laughs> Reggaeton, the Puerto Rican equivalent of gangster rap, glamorizes coke and glorifies demons. <laughs> and Puerto Rico's taste for cocaine knows no class barriers. Mm. When you have cable and can't find something good to watch, you get depressed. When you get depressed, you attend seminars. Family started it all in the se Okay, commercial time. Okay. Alright, so we're back to the work. Maybe I should put on some music. The Jackal specializes in selling top quality cocaine to high class clientele. This is the drug class series. This is what you do instead of drugs. And yes. <laughs> He sells a third of a gram bag for thirty dollars. Cutting his cocaine 
would undercut his business, so he keeps it pure and sells it at top price. The Jackal's business is purely a means to an end. For the Jackal, dealing is an economic necessity. The island is littered with crack and heroin addicts who are dying a slow death on the streets. I'm 24 hours, 7 days in the streets, yeah. Carita left New York for Puerto Rico at 16 when her parents died. Within months, she was hooked on heroin. Now she'll do anything for drug money. I'll come and I'll go to bed with you, you know, for $20, you know what I'm saying? Ten years on the streets has taken its toll. Four months ago? They let me know how I was my like HIV. And I came up with My life went to the eye. To cater for so many drug addicts on the Puerto Rican streets, across the island, shooting galleries have sprung up beyond the facade of thousands of abandoned buildings. Here, homeless addicts can shoot up unseen. The shooting gallery is set up and run by a local user, often referred to as the doctor. This is the best drug, fitness. He supplies fresh needles and water, and is an expert in finding addicts' veins, reducing the risk that users will develop tropical ulcers. All for a small fee, a share of the drugs being used. Jesus runs this local shooting gallery and sleeps in the corner. The high of choice is the speedball, a potentially lethal cocktail of heroin and cocaine. The heroin hits first, leaving the user so doped up they are barely able to stand. But once the cocaine kicks in, they suddenly resurface. When Jesus has serviced his clients, it's time for him to inject his share. His first taste of heroin was a life-changing event. Now he has to inject both heroin and cocaine at least every four hours. <laughs> Many of the users also maintain their speedball high with hits of crack cocaine. Oh, yeah.
Now that the morning rush hour is over, the doctor's supply of free drugs is drying up. Ella está empezando pues a hacer a sentirse mal lo, lo, los efectos de, 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 de la enfermedad. Estoy eh, eh, sí, sí, sudando oh, frío. Heroin withdrawal is physical, while cocaine withdrawal is more psychological, inducing paranoia and depression. De alguna manera u otra, yo voy a, a, a buscar la manera de, de conseguir el dinero para, para yo curarme. The life of a homeless addict is a constant struggle to find the money to prevent withdrawal. Y prácticamente pues, puedo romper el cristal del carro y robar dentro del carro. But if you have the money, buying drugs in Puerto Rico is easy. The location of most drug distribution points, or puntos, is not even a secret. This is one of the most notorious puntos oh. of all. Ah, the sounds of summer, the birds are chirping, the waves are crashing. Gotta hurry up and record the rest of this stuff on this DVD. Because I'm turning it back in. So this is the stuff that I recorded. And unfortunately, the DVD failed to finalize. When a DVD in recording is unable to finalize, then you can't play it on any other DVD player. So. I'm forced to, oh, come on. This life, you will. Too far back, sorry about that. Come on, let's go. Green light is a direct line. Come on. Cold silence, come on. Let's go. Come on, a six part event starts Sunday at night. No, I'm sorry for the graphic. Okay, that gave me the first time. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. El Biote controls one of the busiest drug distribution points in Puerto Rico. Look, it's cocaine. Three pesos, three dollars. It's crack. Five dollars. I'm heroin, right? Five dollars. He sells dirty drugs. Dirt cheap. Aimed at street level addicts. Cada 25 bolsas me ganó 15 dólares. Wait a minute. A veces las personas no quiero que me vean la cara. Okay, what else can we do in the next few minutes? Pull drop, um, put the money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lo recogen. Despite selling hundreds of tiny packets a day, he is still struggling to make a decent wage. En el día que me gano 600, 700 pesos. Un turno de 12 horas, 7 a 7. His prison record means he can't get a real job. Instead, he's part of a syndicate of eight partners who join together to buy drugs in bulk. El kilo de, de, de perico, de cocaína, ¿no? Puede estar en unos 22 mil dólares. Y nada, sacamos por octavo. It's a booming business. But it could easily blow up in his face. Ah! Matar a uno o querer bajar este punto o algo así. Siempre hay que estar preparado. En el violent Puerto Rican drug trade, the syndicate employs two armed guards to protect their operation. Se ve que está bien. Bueno, Vayan a acercar a uno. Ah, what am I doing here? Okay, we're at 19 minutes. I did give you a rest. Créeme, no me gusta. Rest. Me gustaría buscarme lo legal. Trabajar. So, yeah, that's a. Esto no es vida. Créeme que esto no es vida. I'm 
he has to swallow his pride to feed his seven children and his expensive heroin habit. Hasta ahora, hasta ahora que no son las doce del mediodía, ¿verdad? Ya se han ido 80 dólares. Muchas veces estoy 20 veces, de 15 a 20 veces, a 20. Wow. 20 times for day. What? Now, El Bijote regrets the first time he even tried drugs. That's right. Yeah, that's the day. Having seen multiple murders firsthand, he knows his days are numbered. Soy precavido. Tengo 38 años y mucho, muchas personas como yo que han estado en el viejo mundo, en el bajo mundo. No han llegado a esta edad. Están muertos o muchos de ellos están presos de por vida. Sí han pasado muchas cosas. ¿verdad? Y mis ojos han visto eso. Pero, como uno dice, yo solo sé que no sé nada. Yo ni he visto, ni he oído, ni nada. Despite fearing for his own life, El Bijote risks his clients' lives with every single rap he sells. As his syndicate regularly cuts, Dangerous chemicals into their drugs. Wow. No, no, la cantidad del puro. Y se hace esto. No se va a vender puro para tener ganancia. Drugs are so common in Puerto Rico that dealers are forced to bulk out their product with additives wow. to make a profit. But the additives are often nasty chemicals themselves. Mm -hmm. Laxatives, headache pills, and even meat tenderizer have all been found in the island's heroin. But one cut has emerged as a highly addictive drug in its own right. It's worse than anything ever seen in Puerto Rico before. More deadly than a speedball, more addictive than crystal meth, and with horrific sleepwalking side effects. The horse tranquilizer, xylazine, street name, anesthesia, a shocking new drug that is unique to the side of the I'm making a video right now. Have you been seeing my vi YouTube postings? No, I'm almost finished. Have you seen them? The first began appearing on the black market in Puerto Rico's horse farming towns in early 2000. No, I'm talking about mine, the one that I'm doing. Use it to tranquilize horses. The videos, the workout videos. If you put this, uh, this, this motion, the I one with me working out, it's going to cut the die. The drug lords did not realize. Yeah, but I have more. I posted one yesterday. On an unsuspecting community. Check your email because it's a private one. It's a 25 minute one, 30 minute. And I just did this. This is my second one that I'm doing today. 20 minutes though. Even while standing on their feet. Okay, it's a workout video. They want to walk, but it's not coordinated. Okay. So how you doing otherwise? You know, I'm just recording right now. Documentary on drugs in Puerto Rico. It's madness in Puerto Rico. Cocaine use is so high, man. I didn't know that. What? Then you shoot it up with cocaine. What? 
in an attempt to stay awake. Yeah, some new drug. Kind of crazy for it's incredible, man. It's the Satan. Take it over the world, man. You gotta fight back. Send, all right, look. I'm gonna send you something starting Friday. You know why I said Friday? Because today's painting. Okay, today's painting. I got a stack of 100 DVDs right in front of me. Okay, so how's that? All right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I do. My first payday. Thank God. For a potentially deadly combination. Okay. What? Train. Okay, I'll put him on DVD then. How's that? I could put him on DVD. It's a full three hours before he's finally got the money together to cop his drugs. I we'll see. This morning, but I never had to. All right. Because this life that I had. All right, so. Amazing, happy. All right, let me turn this DVD off. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's the lesson for today, people. That Before warms you up. That was the routine. Today's my birthday, as I said. I'm 55 years of age. I want to thank all those who have supported me, who have been in my life. I want to thank all the challenges as well, because they made me stronger. And made me realize that God was always my best friend. So, we'll see you tomorrow. This is the uh, the next session, is the advanced workout session. You stick around for that. That's going to be 15 minutes. And uh, God bless everyone. Thank you, Roberto, for your birthday call. And um, I will see you tomorrow. Okay? How'd you like that? No. And that was our last Facebook challenge. Let's see who can sign up more quickly. Sandy, what side are you using? Wait.